Number one, Tren a las Nubes, Argentina. The train route that connects Salta in the Argentine Northwest to Polavaria in Chile across the border of the two countries in the Andes mountain range is known as Tren a las Nubes. Also the fifth highest railway in the world, it stretches to 270 miles, consisting of no fewer than 29 bridges, 21 tunnels, 13 viaducts, two spirals, and two zigzags. You can travel on and through all of them if you hop on the train and take a scenic journey for 16 hours. One of the viaducts in the railway called Polavaria is soaring 210 feet tall and 735 feet long. If that's not impressive enough, it's located 13,850 feet above sea level. Number 2. Pamban Rameswaram, India One of the most notable sections of the Chennai Rameswaram Railway is the Pamban Bridge stretching more than 1.5 miles between mainland India and Pamban Island. For the most part, the bridge is of conventional design, resting on concrete piers. While the bridge is structurally sound, its relative proximity to the water surface, positioned about 41 feet above sea level, makes any train crossing over it susceptible to tides and currents. It began operation in 1914 after 14 years of construction and at that time, it was the longest sea bridge in India. In December 1964, a storm surge struck Pamban Island and overturned a passenger train. All 150 passengers on the train were killed. Number 3. Aso Manami Route Japan. Japan's most dangerous railroad is the Aso Minami Route, which passes through the region of Kumamoto, connecting Takamori to Minamiyaso. This is not to say the railway is structurally flawed or soaring high above the clouds, it's just that the route is situated with close distance to Mount Aso, the biggest active volcano in the country. The tracks are practically on the volcano's foothills, meaning passengers are at risk of witnessing a river of lava flowing next to the train during every journey. Hot lava is not that uncommon either. Passengers can usually see it burning in the forest, also close to the tracks, and witness natural hot steam rising from the volcano itself on any normal day in the fall. Number 4. Dalish Railway Track, United Kingdom The most notable feature of the Dalish Railway Track, as well as the station, is the way it uses the seawall as the foundation on which the infrastructure was built. The station is located in the town of Dalish in Devon, England, and part of the Exeter to Plymouth Line. Since the track essentially is the top section of the seawall at Dalish, it's often suffered from storm damage. In February 2014, the seawall was breached, leaving parts of a rail dangling in midair. The line was closed and repair work began immediately afterward. Number 5. Landwasser Viaduct, Switzerland Constructed in almost record-breaking time between 1901 and 1902, the Landwasser Viaduct is a 446-foot-long bridge, part of the Albula railway system that connects Schmitten and Filiser in Switzerland. It was built on behalf of the Ratian Railway, which until today still runs and operates the viaduct. Standing 213 feet tall, the viaduct is a single-track limestone bridge with six arched supports. 
The design and structure really did stand the test of time, as the original construction underwent its first renovation work only in 2009, more than a century after it started operating. Since 2008, the train route, including all of its features like Lanwasser Viaduct, has been placed on the UNESCO World Heritage List. Number 6. The Death Railway, Thailand The 258-mile railway that connects Ben Pong in Thailand and Thambuziat in Myanmar is called the Burma Railway, yet sometimes also referred to as the Death Railway. The Empire of Japan built the track in four years from 1940 to 1944, mainly as a transportation line to supply troops and weapons in Myanmar during World War II. Once completed, the railway became part of a larger system to link Yangon, formerly known as Rangoon, and Bangkok, Thailand. The track passes through dangerous terrain and dense jungles, although the nickname came from the fact that its construction took the lives of so many POWs. The railway bridge on the River Kwai is the most famous section of the track. Number 7. Georgetown Loop Railroad, United States while you can for sure drive on your way from Georgetown in Silver Plume and back in the state of Colorado, there's nothing wrong with taking a train, especially if scenic views on the journey is what you're after. Constructed in 1877, the Georgetown Loop now serves as a heritage railroad stretching 4.5 miles along mountainous terrain. The highest point of the track is 640 feet, and of course there are several bridges to add to the excitement. On the 100-foot-tall Devil's Gate High Bridge, the train will move in a slow, precarious manner, not only because it wants you to enjoy the view, but also due to the narrow gauge line. Number 8. Gotek Viaduct, Myanmar When the Gotek Viaduct was completed in 1900, it became the largest railway trestle in the world at 689 meters across and 97 meters high. The true height of the bridge, measured from the ground on the downstream to the rail deck, reaches 102 meters. The Gotek Viaduct was originally built for the purpose of expanding the influence of the British Empire in the region. The train typically crosses the viaduct at a very slow speed to avoid putting unnecessary pressure to the aging infrastructure. Despite some renovation work in the 1990s, the viaduct still creaks as the train makes its way across. Number 9. White Pass and Yukon Route, Alaska Originally built to connect Whitehorse in Canada and Skagway in Alaska, the White Pass and Yukon Route Railway is just a little over 110 miles. It started operating in 1900, but due to the collapse of the mining industry, the railway was closed in 1982. The route reopened just six years later, though, and is now used only as a heritage transportation for tourists to take a scenic journey. You can expect a backdrop of mountains and cliff-hanging turns along the way because you'll be traveling 3,000 feet high on some sections of the route. It'd be as beautiful as it is frightening considering that some bridge supports are still made of wood. Number 10. Karanda Scenic Railway, Australia 
Connecting the city of Cairns to the town of Caronda in Queensland, the Caronda Scenic Railway passes through uninhabited McAllister Range and dense tropical rainforest inside the Barren Gorge National Park. The railroad began construction in 1886 and reached completion in 1891. Although the route is relatively short, just 21 miles, it offers some jaw-dropping views as the train travels through more than 40 bridges along the entire one-hour, 45-minute run. In addition to the bridges, there are also 15 tunnels and 93 curves. More importantly, the tracks are built just a few meters away from numerous waterfalls. In fact, the Barren Falls spray water onto the train, 